Hello. It's really difficult being so far away, but um, what I've been feeling once I got over the immediate feelings of, of grief is gratitude. Gratitude for my siblings, for Deborah, Stephen, Beverly, um, and all the things that they've been doing over the last while to help mom uh, with dad and to look after him in all the different ways and to make all the different arrangements. So my first thought is gratitude to them. My second one is gratitude to the numerous people who have reached out uh, with messages of support and of love and especially of stories and 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 uh, comments and dedications talking about about a dad and about the the type of person he was and and the impact that he had on their lives and on the lives of, of people around him so um, gratitude uh, it's something that I'm that I'm holding on to that I feel is important and that um, can help all of us, I, I suppose, to 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 get over this um, this feeling, this initial feeling of grief. I've been really struggling with the grief, and I've and I've spent a lot of time thinking about uh, how to deal with it and um, what it means to me, and and and, and what it and what impact it has, because um, it feels to me as if Dad went so suddenly. Uh, it wasn't expected um, you know we knew that he was that he was ill and we knew that he was deteriorating but it was seemed to go from being ill and the odd bit of recovery until all of a sudden um, um, he passed um, and I've I've been struggling with 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 intense grief about it because um, because it was, it, I haven't had any kind of, um, I didn't have any closure, I wasn't able to visit him to say goodbye. Although, um, thank you to, to Stephen for playing um, um, a message to him um, just before he went from me. Um, thank you for that. Um, that has helped me a lot to deal with it. What it has reminded me of is how little time we have. Uh, we always think that, um, that, that it'll always go on, that it'll never end. We don't think about um, those small moments, and um, what it's forced me to do is to is to think about those moments and to and to reaffirm my own commitment to my own to my own children about grabbing those moments to express my feelings to them. And coming back to the gratitude, <clears throat> as I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking about my my father's life, and. Um, and trying to think about how I could summarize it and 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 put it together for for this eulogy and the one word if I had to come up with one word um, to summarize who he was and what he did was service is that almost everything he did was in service to other people um, if you think he spent a year in the army spent uh, nine years in the police a year in the traffic um, in the traffic ops and then he spent over 30 years at the university um, where he was in a support role for all kinds of people um, who were doing the, the, um, the research and, and, and the other things that they were doing and, and he was acting in that support role. So his whole professional life um, has been in service to others. And then his personal life as well. I mean, I have memories of him uh, from when I was very young searching for a um, for a, a spiritual home a religious home um, searching for ways to to I think um, make peace with some of the of the issues that, that he had about about life in general about dealing with other people and um, and watching him <laughs> actually actually looking back retrospectively thinking about watching him grow and mature in, in how you relate to people I know I know that, that, that for him it was always a struggle. I mean, um, just ordinary social interaction was not something that came naturally to him, that he had to really think about it and work hard at it. So in spite of his feelings about, about people, that, that he actually 
battle to to make those feelings clear and to share those feelings. And I know that um, that one of the things that uh, that helped him to get that right and where he blossomed was in the the home group, uh, home church um, um, situation where it was a smaller group of people that he felt um, that he became much more comfortable with and that he could actually do what he what he what he obviously wanted to do, which is to to reach out to the people around him and um, share with them and um, and make a difference in their lives um, in whatever way that was. And from the many stories that I've heard, he made an impact on a lot of people's lives in that way, at least. Uh, you know, um, my dad was always somebody who liked to, to tinker, to, um, to figure out the technical aspects of something, uh, to go and sit in his, in his workshop and take things apart and figure them out and put them back together and to fix them and, and make them work again. That was, I feel, where he was often most comfortable and not around people. But if I'm, but thinking back on it, I, I actually think that in some way, he took that um, that natural knack of his and slowly built up the skills to be able to do that kind of thing with people as well. Sometimes combining the two. I mean, I know of more than one time where he would help somebody in the community by repairing their washing machine or. Um, <laughs> their, their driveway gates or something like that um, and um, and in that process when his hands were busy um, he was able then to relate to people without having to 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 struggle quite as much um, you know I think everybody's relationships um, go about how the relationship with the person affected them and um, I've I've had um, a lot of respect for my father um, my whole life in, in a whole lot of different ways and thinking also thinking back and it's sitting and, and contemplating um, one of the things that I know that I've always desired and always um, um, has been something that, that I've, I've strived towards is to ensure that he was never disappointed in me um, Looking for approval, obviously, but 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 more than that, that, that I wouldn't disappoint him. And he never placed very much of a burden on me of, of expectation. I placed that on myself because um, what I'd learned by observation um, from him about how he acted in service or lived in service to other people is something that I've tried to make a part of my life, and um, and I credit that to him. Um, and from what I've observed, other people in his in his immediate um, family um, and in his immediate community have taken similar lessons from him, and I and I and I credit him with that. And I think that that is something truly admirable, and something that um, that that will mean that his uh, his memory will <clears throat> will live on for a long a long time in people's hearts. And um, if I believe anything. I believe this, and that is that um, our true Im immortality, as somebody famous once said, is that we are never truly dead until everybody who um, has memory of us or thought of us um, um, is gone. And I know that um, that I will always carry him in my heart. I know that my children will, will always remember him, remember their grandfather. I know that that's true for um, all four of his children and all 13 of his grandchildren um, because that was that was definitely something is that um, one of the main cornerstones and capstones of, of, of his of his his life was um, his role as a father and then as a grandfather and um, and if you look at at uh, the various photos that are on display today you'll see that a large part of that is, about him interacting with um, with the family, and that that has been his passion. You know, where other people might um, choose to do something like golf or whatever, he would actually spend time with um, with family um, out of preference. And um, that's not to say that uh, Rusty and other little dogs didn't get into his heart; they were just his fur babies. Um, but the same thing applies. Um, it's um it's been difficult um, the last few days. It's been 
it's been exceptionally difficult. And um, I um, I'm I know about grief. Um, I I have lost I've lost numerous people in my life, and I and I, I understand it. But um, I, and I know about regret. Um, I know about regret. But um, if I've learned one one other thing, it's that um, we can't allow those things to to cripple us and to stop us from from living our best lives. Um, so what I will strive to do is I will strive as his, his ghost walks with me, as he lives on in my heart, I'll strive to continue not to disappoint. Goodbye, Daddy. I love you.